He who chases two rabbits never catches one. See, I used to chase like 10 different things all at the same time. I wanted to oh, get my physique up. I wanted to learn about nutrition. I wanted to learn about muscles, hypertrophy. I wanted to learn about entrepreneurship. I was doing all these things. I was reading three different books at the same time. I was also had to focus on school. Oh, I, I also want to balance that with being a YouTuber as well. Or maybe I should also practice my communication skills. I'm going to read this book. I'm going to practice communication. I'm going to do 10 different fucking things, 10 different things. It is such an ineffective way to go about chasing different goals. See, the more you have on your plate, the more you have to distribute your energy among this huge line of different things. Whereas if you just had one goal in mind, or maybe just two, right? It's all down in like one lane. You have one lane to sprint down instead of just dabbling and walking in 10. You have a max amount of energy that you can spend on different tasks in your day. Say it's 500. If you have five different things to chase, right? You're going to be spending 100 energy on each. Whereas if you just had one, you'd have all 500 to put in that one thing. But just because you have all the same amount of energy to be put towards each different thing doesn't mean the progress is the same. Matter of fact, when you chase one thing compared to 10 different things, the progress total is actually more. Say you made you can make 600 progress chasing one thing compared to 500 total progress chasing 10 different things. Why I say this? The reason for this is because when you chase just one thing only, your mind is just fixated on it, right? You don't have to think about anything else. When your mind doesn't have to comprehend all the information from 10 different things, it only needs to focus on one thing. And that's the only thing you're thinking about when you're going to the washroom, when you're taking a shit, when you're eating, that's the one thing that you just are focusing on at the moment. You're going to inevitably make more progress total in that one thing compared to chasing five. So I swear to you, the moment I just started chasing a few different things, because you know, school, working out, you can't really get away from that. I wasn't really focusing on it, but like not chasing, oh, I wanna learn this and that and that. Just focusing on one thing, maybe it's YouTube right now, maybe it's for the last few months, it's just been like health, learning a bunch of health things, fixing up my diet. You make so much more progress. So I wanna give you actionable step on how you can actually implement this. So step one is determine what your biggest constraint is. This is what you will be focusing on. So for example, maybe your biggest constraint right now is just like you're broke. You're broke as fuck. Money is like that one thing that would just resolve a bunch of problems in your life. You gotta figure out a way to overcome that. How can you overcome that constraint? Maybe it's just getting a job. Nobody wants to get a job these days. Oh, you're a slave, bro. You're a nine to five. Look, if you really need it, get a fucking job, okay? If not, because I know nobody has the balls to get their ass up on a business, starting the, what is it, SMMA and some shit like that. But anyways, that's the thing that you're gonna have to focus on for however long it takes until you make enough money to where you've overcome that constraint, where it's just like no longer a burden for you. Another example is if you're unhappy, you're upset with your health right now, whether that's your gut health, you're dealing with a bunch of random autoimmune issues, or that's your physique, right? You could be upset with your physique for the next however long, I'm just gonna be focusing in on the gym, I wanna build up a good physique. What is that big constraint for you right now? Maybe you're lonely. Then you'd focus on strategies to make a social life. Maybe you maybe join a few clubs, you join a few online communities, whatever, try to connect with people. But that is gonna be your one thing that you're going to focus on until you overcome it. Now step two is once you've overcome that at the moment focus of yours, say it was your physique or you were in the gym for a while, you're, you're kind of happy with your physique now, You don't. it's not really a constraint for you anymore, you move on to your next constraint. What is that next big constraint? Maybe you're broke. But here's the key. After you move on to your next focus, you still have to maintain that old focus that you just overcome. That doesn't mean you just start eating junk food. You start, oh, I don't need that physique anymore. You have to put in, here's the key. I'm going to say this two times. You have to put in the minimum effort it takes to maintain that progress. Okay. You have to put in the minimum effort it takes to maintain that progress. So, for the gym, like you literally only have to go like two, maybe even one times a week, hit a full body workout. And then it's like that you have more effort to put into that one thing, which is your new focus. I know what you're thinking with things like the gym, I, that wasn't like the best example because with the gym, you kind of can't really focus it on it all at once, right? Once you go to the gym, once you come home, it's like, okay, now what? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Maybe I'm supposed, am I supposed to just watch like Sam Sulik videos or what the fuck, right? So that's when maybe picking up two different things to focus on is beneficial, but you have to determine which one's actually your priority. And that's the one that you will be fixating your mind more towards. 
Now you will face distractions along the way. There will be shit that comes up. You'll see something on your YouTube feed and then all of a sudden your desire is going to change. Like, oh my God, I have to do this now. I have to do this. Bro, I was focused fully on the gym at one point in my life. And then next thing you know, uh, I saw some video on badminton. I used to like to play badminton. I still like playing badminton. And then all of a sudden I'm thinking like, you know what, bro? I want to start playing badminton again. I want to start doing this. And then my efforts being shifted towards something else when in reality my goal was getting a better physique. Next thing you know, I'm distributing my progress among two different things and it's just like slow in each different section of my life. So what you have to do is just remember that one goal. What is your focus right now? And always remind yourself, what is that thing? Right, that let that be the thing that makes you get up. This is my focus right now, okay? Fuck those distractions. There's gonna be so much things that come into your head, so much new information that's coming back to you, and you have to remember, what is my constraint? Have I overcome it yet? If not, fuck those distractions. You need to keep chasing towards that one thing. When you do this, you're gonna make so much more progress towards your goals, but not only that, you're gonna have these beautiful moments, these seasons of your life where you focused on that or you focus on this and you make a lot of memories along the way which you'll cherish for the rest of your life and you gain a fuck ton of experience along with that anyways i hope this video helps you if you can leave a like a subscribe uh, that would all help anyways i'll see you soon